One is the time right now. The Washington football team has been hit hard by COVID-19. Four more players have tested positive for COVID-19, and that's not all. Team staffer also tested positive for the Omicron variant. I'm Maureen Ume. She's live at FedEx Field with more. Good morning, Mo. Hey, good morning to both of you. So in all, 36 NFL players, including four Washington football team players, are on that reserve COVID-19 list. It's the largest number of players added to that list since uh, the NFL came up with it last year. And, of course, now that is a lot of concern amongst the league how this is going to reverberate as far as uh, playing time this week in these games coming up. Let me show you the four Washington football players or share with you their names that are on the list right now. So we have uh, Jonathan Allen, a defensive tackle, backup linebacker and special teamer David Mayo, defensive end William Brad. Bradley King and tight end to Merrick Hemingway. Bradley King and Hemingway are on the practice squad, but Bradley did play three snaps in Sunday's game against Dallas. Officials say that Jonathan Allen tested positive for the virus, but because he has been vaccinated, he only needs two negative tests in a 48-hour span to return. After a rash of these positive tests, the NFL is now mandating that all Tier 1 and Tier 2 personnel who have been previously vaccinated and are eligible must receive a COVID-19 booster shot by December 27th. Now, Tier one personnel are players, coaches, physicians, trainers, and necessary personnel who need direct access to players. Tier two is made up of general managers, football operations employees, and other assistant coaches. And then, of course, as you mentioned, there are reports that a Washington football team tier three staffer also tested positive for the Omicron variant of COVID-19. This is the first known case of that variant in the league. Tier three staffers are certain operational personnel, in-house media and broadcast personnel, transportation providers, and workers who perform facility, stadium, or event services. But we are told this, they are not allowed to be in close contact with players. So again, this tier three personnel who now has the Omicron variant uh, is a person who has not or will not have any direct contact with players. Uh, so again, the four players on this list, should they all be vaccinated, they just need two negative tests uh, within a 48-hour period to return back uh, to the playing status. But as far as that mandate for the booster shot uh, by December 27th, keep in mind, this actually does not apply to players at all. Every Everyone else, just not the players, because the players, any mandate to direct it at them has to be negotiated with the with their uh, with their uh, NFL Players Association. And so, this booster shot mandate doesn't apply to players. So, as far as the COVID-19 being spread amongst the players, whether they're vaccinated or not, uh, you know, that really is going to have to play out on its own because this mandate that the NFL has now put into place will not apply to players. But for now, four Washington Football Team players on that reserve COVID-19 list. Back to you. All right, Maureen Ume reporting. 4.04 is the time right now. That brings us to our Fox 5 Live Instapol question. We're asking this morning, are you more likely to get a booster shot because of the Omicron variant? Uh, you can cast your vote right now on our website or fox5dc.com or by using the free Fox 5 app. 4.04, let's get to this Fox 5 News alert.